As the ball drops and holiday cheer fades, Grand Mental Health is noticing an uptick in people looking for services. After New Year's Eve, we really see a push for services. I don't know if it's a New Year's resolution thing that you see, but we definitely see an increase in people seeking out services after the first of the year. That's Kimberly Hill Crowell, Chief Clinical Officer at Grand Tulsa. To handle the influx, she says preparation is key, especially for the outreach team. Just gearing up, getting ready. We try to look ahead at the weather. Okay, when are the cold fronts coming in? When do we need to be out? When do we need to have coats? gathered up, things like that. Year round, this team uses a hands-on approach to connect people with services, passing out food, clothes, and brochures to the homeless. I met an outreach team member named Dale Robertson. He says as the days turn colder and the nights turn longer, he's stocking up on extra resources. A little bit heartbreaking to see the displaced people this time of year, so we're just trying to do something a little special for them. Don't give up. The holiday blues are seen in green country and in numbers across the nation. 38% of people say the holidays increase their stress. And for those who already have mental health issues, 64% say it worsened this time of year. And it can really send you into a spiral. It can send you into a, a deep depression if you're already experiencing those issues as it is. Whether the mental health issues are from last year or the new one, Grand says its doors are open. In Tulsa, Alexandra Blake, 2 News, Oklahoma.